So morning guys, I've just come literally 1.4 kilometers outside of Arbalea Center and I'm gonna do a little video today of one that I think is just going unnoticed on the website and I don't know why, because this property's got a heck of a lot going for it. Very reasonable price. It's our property called Villa Olive. It's 172,500 euros. It's been empty now for nearly three years. Unfortunately, the owners for personal reasons and COVID, of course, have not been able to get over. But let's go and have a look and I'll tell you what I mean. It, this really should be considered because this is a real hidden gem. So you've got double drive gates going there into the garden. Come along the frontage there. You can just see my car parked in the distance. Well, that's the end of the garden on the other side. So it covers a very, very big area. As I say, you're 1.2, 1.3 kilometers outside of Arbalea Center. So a fantastic location. It's got an 860 plus meter garden, which is a lot bigger than usual for the area. It's 130 meters at least of build size. And for the location, size and spec, it's been very competitively priced. So hopefully when I post this video up, you'll give this some serious consideration because very easily and not too expensively, this place could be tidied up, scrubbed up a bit and look absolutely amazing. Because it's been empty for so long now, obviously the gardens here are overgrown, but you've got a wonderful terrace here running along the frontage with this big covered porch. You can see a little gate there that takes you out to the driveway. Scanning around. This is the front porch. I mean, it's under cover and it looks over the street, so probably not gonna get used a great deal, but you don't need to, because you'll see in a minute, you've got a fantastic one on the interior as well. So coming into the front door, it's what you define, I suppose, as a character villa. It's got lots of character features, very comfortable and cozy looking, but at the same time, it's got all the mod cons ceiling fans all the key rooms are air conditioned so that's all the bedrooms in the lounge you've got fly screens on all the windows you can see corner mounted fireplace here very much like the open plan feel to this one so coming off around the lounge big archway there into a dining room area so although it's one large open room it gives the impression of being two separate rooms the archway over there goes off to the bedrooms where we'll go in a minute another big archway there open plan into the kitchen yes appreciate you know this is very dated could do with upgrading but they are granite worktops in there it's a very sizable kitchen and very nicely situated as it just literally comes through some double doors and straight out to the garden come entertaining area so let's go and have a look at the bedrooms as I say this is quite a special property in our opinion quite unique and there's lots of features that you don't get on other villas that have been priced a lot more expensively so big storage cupboard here for your vacs and stuff like that central hallway that runs along so full bathroom number one this has got a handy Jack and Jill door into the first guest bedroom. No doubt it needs a kind of repaint and a freshen up, but as I said at the start, this is you know not expensive to achieve and not too time consuming either. But beautiful banks of fitted wardrobes in there. back out to the hallway and then we'll pop straight across into what's the second guest bedroom good sized double rooms as I mentioned you've got air conditioning in all the bedrooms and the lounge this one hasn't got a bank of fitted wardrobes and it's been used to store garden and patio furniture so there's some of that tucked away there behind the bed I don't know if you saw it but second bathroom these aren't just small en suites, you know, these are proper bathrooms. So that's two bedrooms, guest bedrooms, both with a full en suite bathroom. Marble top vanity unit there. 
big shower tucked away behind the door. Even got a wall heater in this one, absolutely fantastic. So then one of my favorite parts of the villa, the master bedroom, master suite, I suppose you could call it. So huge, huge room. Big sofa in here, another bank of fitted wardrobes. This is double the size of a standard three beds master bedroom, which is why I've said it's a little bit of a hidden gem. Unfortunately, because the property's so large, it's very difficult to photograph in a nice way. So it gets missed, I think, a lot on the web and on the portals when it really deserves the justice of having a look at the video. Look at that bathroom, hydro corner bath, another marble top vanity unit, great big shower. So you've seen three very good sized bedrooms, the master exceptionally large, three full bathrooms. Well, find me another villa on the books in Arbalaeus as close to the main town that's got three bathrooms and is priced at anywhere near that price level. Very, very hard to come by. Back out into the living room. Got a new Womble Mikey thing on today, so hopefully we won't get lots of wind noise. It's a little bit overcast, unfortunately, but hey ho. Now, just before I started filming, I've come and grabbed some of the patio furniture that's been stored indoors for years and just stuck it out here. So coming out of these double doors, they do need replacing, unfortunately. You know, they've just been here unattended. So they'll need to come out and new ones be put in, but again, not difficult and not too expensive. So you've got this massive rear terrace, entertaining area, look at the size of that. Coming off of the kitchen, you could have five patio sets out here quite comfortably if you wanted to. There's a little built-in chimney and barbecue just over here. Then this very handy utility area where you've got a kind of laundry sink and a, a washing machine and the boiler. Well, great place to have a washing machine because when you've done the washing, you've got to hang it out in the garden to dry. That's the driveway there. Now it's very difficult because the garden's a little bit overgrown, but basically down below this terrace, you've got around five or 600 meters with established olive trees, which could benefit from some pruning and some trimming and some landscaping. Also down there, just tucked away, you can see a garden storage shed and there's some dog kenneling built into this. Look, you can see steps here coming down from the driveway. And then there's little pathways that take you down to the bottom part of the garden. I think it's 862 meters to be precise. So about 260 more than you'd get in the normal Arbalaeus garden. And even though it's priced very reasonably, you're not missing out on a, a pool either. Absolutely super swimming pool in this one. Contoured pool. Wonderful mermaid in the bottom. Very unusual, but I think very nice design, like a bench seat that runs along there and wonderful corner steps coming in. Someone is paid to come in and keep the pool clean each week. So despite the house being empty for so long, it's in very good condition. Those double doors there go out to the street where my car's parked. And then you've got this kind of dinky little covered poolside pergola to give you a little bit of shade from the sunshine in the summer. What an absolute cracker, Villa Olive. CLA 7172, I think is the reference number. Apologise again, no blue skies, but hey ho. Hey. 